So I am currently two degrees out. Been messing around with alignment for the better part of the day. Just trying to figure out what I'm actually gonna do. But I do wanna remake these engine beds. Do I remake them now? I just don't really know. I think I'm just hungry. Well, I figured out what I'm doing. I pulled the engine beds out and I've butchered these things doing fitting. And realistically, the back is so skinny that it's not really doing anything. So my reassessment is I'm making new engine beds. I just bandsawed up a piece of sapelle I had. Hard cuts to make with a bandsaw, so I got some chiseling to do. Test fit, already weighs more and is more stable. <sighs> Brilliant. So we're installing this sick bronze hatch. Fucking uh. old expired Sika Flex is so hard get out of one of these things. He works hard for the money. It was free Sika Flex, like everything else that we do. Are you tired? This is hard. I thought I was only tired. I've been going hard all day. You've been hard all day? Splar, splar. Yeah, You're this light -headed. is- light damn. That's working great, babe. Maybe you're just not strong, huh? That's probably it. Oh, I've been lifting that motor like 15 times a day. I'm fucking white. Yeah, I didn't lift a motor, but I'm still tired. I don't know. I think it's like progressive. I think I just maybe need to sleep for like 24 hours tomorrow. I think sailing would help, but... We're pretty far away from that right Are now. Are we? I thought we were close. I mean... I thought we were closer to that. We got a wedding uh, coming up. Ever watched a man struggle with Sikaflex? Jeez. Toasted? Butcher man. Where's the poker? Here's the poker. Poker? poker I don't even know. <laughs> Obligatory comment. We've been here for a while. So just breathe heavier. I think that would help. What do you wanna bet that this Sikaflex tube explodes? Um, I feel like betting against you is pretty easy because you make bad bets. So I would say pretty good, but I'm not gonna put any money on it just because I'm not a betting woman, really. Is she gonna explode? Is that the problem? Oh it's too much pressure. I think you'll probably do good for a little while, and then when you're not expecting it, it'll explode. Yeah, so you're going for explodes when you least expect it. Yeah. That's always the case, isn't it? That's this fine. one actually seems pretty good, so... It's a little easier, for sure. Maybe not. Maybe it won't explode. All right, let's get some Sika on the ground. Sick. Oh. You ever want to watch someone do Sika Flex and breathe heavily? It's the only it's like way to do it. Most of our channel is just heavy breathing. It's coming in nice and thick though, which seems promising. Wow, valiant effort. <sighs> Done. Perfect. You guys want to see some clamps? We got clamps. Clamp City. We don't have a lot of sense, but we do got clamps. Oh, we're getting that squeeze out that I wanted. Oh, I wouldn't do it like that. Oh no, okay, sorry. Nice toes, babe. Thanks. When's babe, you're giving my toes away for free? When was the last time you had a pedicure? Uh, when we dropped the peri fridge on my toes. Oh, right. That's why that looks like that, gross. 
That's why, yeah. That's the problem. The, the man, man behind the feet. <laughs> We're tired. Yeah. And we hate this. We hate this so much. Yeah, we Do want you want to just burn this shit down? Yeah, we should be sailing. Uh, We're close. Are we losers that don't sail? We're nailers, not sailors right uh, now, babe. Fuck. That's the curse. That's the worst thing in the world to be. Is it? It's like, it was cool up until now. <laughs> yeah, I just spent two days fucking around with the motor, and I'm like, exactly where I was Ready before. to, babe, did you pull out your hair out? Is that what Yeah, I, I went bald this week. <laughs> Exhibit A. Wow. Not a lot of shit that will help that. Maybe we'll get you fitted for a wig. Put the Sika Flex wig on. We can't afford you. We're in a rush. We want to get in the water. So we just did a super quick and dirty bulkhead up front here. Um, and we're going to fill it full of schmoo. Because we want this to be a watertight bulkhead up here. So I don't know how this stuff works. Never used it before. Uh, we're going to use it on the fridge. So this is our research. Also, maybe fun. It's a monster. Oh, there's not much in these, eh? Well, I guess not. Huh? Cost for a second. Yeah, I guess I gotta buy more. Just epoxied the edges of this piece that we cut. And it just gets installed. Whoa there. Oh, he's a swooper. It ain't pretty, but it'll work. Building, baby. Oh, that's actually kind of nice without even a back on it, but I guess you sink in. I mean, that's the thing. It's kind of nice to have an armrest, though. Isn't this it? could be, I mean, let's hold our horses here for a second. We well, could. let's make an innovative design based off comfort this and could not be just a bookshelf. <gasps> now you're speaking my language because then it could and have this could be low storage. Actually, this is great with a cushion. It would have to be doubled up because this is weak or supports. Uh, yeah, there'll be an extra two supports. Actually, this would be sick if, but if you could hang your elbows, like this is a comfortable. Yeah, this is the move. I'm already like, just move. Oh yeah, this is. Like, it's perfect. very comfortable. I'm like That's a, I'm like a hanging arm kind of gal. Yeah. It's kind of nice though, because then it makes more storage here. We accidentally discovered the design. Are we geniuses? I think we're geniuses, babe. No, that's gonna be it. I don't think so. Idiot savants, I'll I'm take. A if someone called me an idiot savant, I would be like, okay, I'll accept that. But yeah. it's done. We have seating area. I don't know how Barry had the energy to do that because, like, I was ready to go home, and then he just started building, <laughs> and we have a whole couch. Yeah, it's like ten o'clock or something now. Yeah, it took yeah, like we an even hour got half. teak trim on There's it and everything. And fancy little boards. Yeah, nice little. So, well routed little bits. We gotta sort this out tomorrow, but that's gonna be stowage. Anyways. We got cleats on the sides for the yeah, and we're just gonna, this here, but we gotta cut a proper piece of ply. We're just gonna glue this fancy little board on because it's easier than yeah, than putting fasteners in it. Oh, it fits incredibly well though. Yeah, thank you. It's crazy. And then we're just kind of marveling. Like I'm marveling over how kind of classy. It immediately changed the whole entire boat. Haley, you so look like so fucking next, classy. Yeah, it's comfortable too. That next hole will really be a game changer. Not look, not seeing the hull, I think, is key. Yeah. When you're in a classy boat. And like, I was remarking that it even just it makes the fireplace better because now this is like our this is our living room and it feels like a living room. Yeah, just instead of having the stove there, just put a giant TV. That'd be great. Can we put a little cooler underneath it, like the when microwave. I found the boat? Oh, actually, cooler the microwave. microwave TV. Perfect. Yeah. We'll start drinking like Palm Bay. Yeah. Spirit of ice. We should paint the boat green so it's more tropical. Mm. Green and white maybe? Green and white. Yeah. Lukey's boat was a painted green. 
Yeah, it was painted green. So, so what did we get done today? We finished the seats on the tender. We finished the um, the hatch in the cockpit, and we built a couch. That's pretty and incredible. I organized a bunch. Yeah, everything down to little fasteners to tools to everything. Yeah. Great day. And the van. Okay, cool. Well, let's I... get the fuck out of here and go to my house. That sounds delightful, and then come sweet. Come back here tomorrow, day. Like we always do. Hell yeah. So maybe two years ago, Alec went aloft. No, he didn't go aloft. He, uh, we were trying to stabilize a mast with the topping lift of my boat. Kind of unstep the mast of another boat. Yeah, so I was like, just make sure you don't lose the halyard. And then Alec lost the halyard and he was like, oh, it's fine. I'll go up and I'll replace it. I'll put it back in someday. So today is someday. <laughs> Finally gonna be able to have the boom off the off the gallows or off the deck, so that's good. We have him on two lines and he's gonna have a break fall, so uh, oh, am fall I, arrest. Am I on YouTube? Am I gonna be famous? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Babe, dude, I called you babe. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, fuck. in case you didn't know, I'm, I'm, I'm very easy to squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> We've known each other for a while, but yeah. we're exploring a new dimension I, of our relationship. I really gotta get out of the boatyard, guys. <laughs> Uh, Alex, great. He's a wooden boat enthusiast. Uh, also crew on the Providence, often or has been many times. Uh, I would call him a shipwright, although he wouldn't call himself a shipwright. Uh, he's just, you know, generally a super cool dude. Also a phenomenal sailor. Top of Dagon's mast here in uh, Steveston. Just relayed the topping lift. Quick inspection of the masthead. Barry's down there. He's about to lower me down. Right. View are not a bad view, eh? Okay, so we've made some design decisions. We are installing the horse here above the companionway and we've got this big old hunk of sapele here and we're working on the design so that we can cut two big pieces out of one chunk of sapele. It's gonna be good. So, just started on my lithium ion setup. I've got my Red Odo battery, which 200, Shout out to Red Odo, 200 amp hour lithium ion. And Simon Styles gave me this beautiful Renergy DC to DC converter, which is profoundly important for my setup. I have a motor with an alternator and I have a start battery. An alternator is probably too hardcore for my lithium ion, so. Too hardcore for you. Yeah, so the best part about this setup is that this Renergy device behaves like a battery separator. So it will allow me to charge one battery off of the other while being lead acid to lithium ion. So no conflicts there. It'll charge off of the alternator, both batteries off the alternator, and it will charge both batteries off of solar. So it's also an MPPT solar charge controller. It's literally, the ultimate setup for this boat. Literally so good. So good. Literally. It can, and it will also live in there. So you can also charge all of those batteries off of a shore system. So literally a catch-all for everything you need to do. I got a reading light installed. Do you so, know how to read? Oh, yeah, we we're working on it. Day. Yeah, and I got this space cut away properly, so that's our little shelf back there. It needs a fiddle. And we're keeping it open exposed storage back here so you can just put stuff down here. And we were gonna do more work here, but we're not going to. We're burning it's out. Already like eight yeah. So. And back to what Alec and I were working on earlier. Um, we were making the blocks to make the um, 
the traveler go over top of here and I got my friend Lauren to cut them out for me and he being a genius suggested a completely new path which is exactly what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the horse and we're gonna put it back here and we have the blocks already cut that will support the horse and clears the back stays which is wonderful it's ideal delightful so huge progress amazing the boat is very close to being saleable she has a four, she has two four sails. Let's get this book out of here. Cool. Got the brackets all fit, marked, everything. So now I'm gonna start doing final shaping on it. It's feeding time at the ranch. <laughs> uh, Haley just touched up the paint that I fucked up in multiple spots, but also she just got this all glued on. It's looking fucking sweet. We're just, what I said about those are actually good. Yeah, right? Also, this is, um, we're just using Gorilla Glue. You damp the surface slightly and then slurp it on and uh, it kicks off. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. It's got the curve of the, the hull. Yeah, that'll be painted white. Yeah, and we can still, we left a gap at the bottom so that we can we'll still lift tall. these out. We'll see tall this part. It's our water tank access. Yeah, and I'm very excited about this. She also bonded that edge. She's eating good cookies. She's not in a good mood. Right now, I'm in a good mood. Oh no, she's lacking vitamin B. And then for me, I've got... Yeah, what's going on with the leopard colony? <laughs> I got the bolt holes. I've got the rebate for the bronze. Uh, now I'm just doing like final fitting to see if it all goes together. Ooh. What if it doesn't? So we're just test fitting the fiddle so that we can attach a piece of trim to the little shelf. That looks so good. We want to finish the rest of it and then it'll actually store things. And then on the sides here where the fiddle ends, we're just going to extend the ply so there's like a cup holder essentially. Right? Fucking exciting. Wow. Uh. What now, Sailor Berry? <laughs> Too much pressure. If this goes like, yep. I'm gonna keep the bronze bolt head out here because I'm gonna bury the bolts in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, super cool. It's coming together. I almost fucked up because I did like a test fit. That does sound like you did. And I didn't have the ring on. Oh god. And so I was lucky that I was able to disassemble it. Yeah. But here oh, we go. That looks great. Yeah. So it's definitely gonna scratch on the top here, but we'll put a copper strip. Yep. So that doesn't get all fucked up, but it'll probably Although have it'll to go. it'll be under load, so it'll be oh, pulled right. upright most right. of the time. That's great. It looks very fancy. I routed the edges, so if we go to round it more, it's basically as done as it needs to be. Cool. Yeah. It's very, seems very strong. It has to be. This is going to be our main pr Bitch, propulsion. It might be. And it'll just, as you tack and drive, it'll swing side to side all on its own. You got the horses in the back. Horse tack is attached, baby. So Haley took it on herself to template out a bunch of pieces of plywood. Yes, and we can. She got me to cut them out, and because they... I'm too high to use saws most of the time. <laughs> also, they're loud, and I just I'm not ready for it yet. They're scary. Yeah, one day when I'm sober. Also, sh her. Work was perfect. Like, look at that piece. Fits perfect. Oh, and I that far. Oh, it was as good as she... as good as mine. Yeah, and, that's true, actually. And so she's just getting the stuff that's really low in the boat with a little bit, getting the edge grain, and then we get to put on that face, that face, and that face, and the boat is substantially more secure. Yeah. Now, if we just make a shelf, which I could easily template today, you won't have to put your stuff in the bilge. Hells, and things yeah. won't fall into the bilge, which I think is even more important. Yeah, you'll basically be making the top to the water tank compartment there and there. That's what we get. And we don't complain. That's what we get. Done. Cool. I'm going to make the fiddle now. <laughs> okay, good. Cool. Alright, we're packing up for the day, but we got 
a fiddle glued on here. So this back shelf is now actually a functional shelf. The couch, that's all that fiddle is glued on. We have this piece of wood, which will, was sort of in this area. It was on the flip up section of the bed before, but that's gone. But this will be the fiddle here for the cushions to stay on. It's already the right size and shape. Basically just going back to where it belongs. So that's exciting. And again, finished the horse. So I'm really stoked about the horse. Got the horses in the back. It's my new traveler setup. Really happy with how it looks. It's a real beautiful addition to the boat. Let's clean it up, put the cushions back, and then. Okay, you guys don't get to see until we clean it up. One, two, three. <laughs> Gorilla glue. Fucking on there. Yeah, so we got a little finishing work to do. I'll sand the back of this. This all get painted white. It's fucking great having like actual exposed storage. This is the most way. comfortable and clean I've ever been on this boat. Like this area is so beautiful. Like full walls, everything's shiny, everything's clean. I think something I've taken for granted on boats is that often you come in and you got like that wraparound settee, but you just kind of like, you fall into it mm -hmm. and you got, you got nowhere to put your arms or anything. An actual couch style couch on a boat is very rare. <laughs> a couch style couch. Yeah. yeah, like it's always just a settee and it's like you're, you. this is a, this feels like an actual so, household couch. So this will be bookshelf and the yeah. fiddle ends. We're gonna actually continue the ply here and then we'll put an additional fiddle cross because we won't hide this because that's ugly obviously but I think also having a little cup holder area not only did I template and then berry cut all these pieces of ply so this one this one and this one I also fared and sanded this so that's almost ready for paint I'm gonna sand it a little bit more just because it's still a little wompy but I don't know pretty good and then also yeah Barry made the beautiful horse in the back so no, no, I'm sure you've seen that. Horse tag is attached. That's Mr. a copyrighted Black. song. Oh, you can say the lyrics. No, oh, you can. You can okay. cover songs all you want. Yeah, but it's like, like from this angle, it's a nice boat. I've never had anywhere to just chill in the boat. Like it's always just been my bed, and I like fall in. And it's been like here. little dirty beds too. Yeah, this is great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't wait to. Decide on like what treasures we store here. Mm -hmm. I was thinking a hanging plant here would be really lovely. Yeah, we are going to slowly introduce plants. Actually, that big gimbal hanging plant would be lovely. Right yeah, here. we're considering putting an oil, like converting an oil lamp into a plant holder. Yeah. The Canadian classic method. <sighs> Only the most classic method. So we're gonna put the fiddle on but it only covers up to uh, about here. So we wanted it to look nice and round where it's still exposed. Haley cut out a little trim for the back edge. She sanded up this piece. It's gonna be the back side fiddle for this. We've got another back edge there. And we have just enough trim to do where these clamps are when we take it all apart. And then it gets painted, sanded, sorted, Beauty. Well, the couch is effectively as complete Sorry, as- Sorry, I'm just Q-tipping, do you mind? <laughs> the couch is now as finished as we need it to be. We got storage in the back. We got the fiddles set up. We got, oh, it's just so lovely. We just sat here. And we have this fiddle on, which holds the cushions in place. Delightful, it's a proper space. Wow. Okay, 
Haley sent up to give me a tattoo or two probably. Um, but I was setting up to make this place better. So Haley and I conspired to make this happen. It's pretty great. Distances on the knuckles, that's gonna hurt a little bit, but I think that'll be fine. I think, I think that's great. It seems to be yeah, it's perfect. Thanks again for tuning in and watching through all the episodes. At this point, Haley and I are already out sailing around on Dagon. That was more or less the last of the building we have to do before splashing the boat. So we have one or two more episodes left before launch and sailing. So stay tuned for season two. And thanks again for all the support via Patreon. Everyone on there has been incredibly supportive and uh, this is a massive shout out to our friend Doug on Patreon. He's been uh, instrumental in making all of this happen. And anyone who's donated by PayPal, thank you so much. And to just anyone who just watches, thank you, thank you, thank you. It all helps so much. Also, as a little insider detail on this tattoo, the starboard side of my body has the green snake, and the port side has the red pirate. Thought you guys might like that. Take care. Thanks again for watching. Cheers, everyone. Bye.